Hey everyone, welcome back to Rose Stops Buying Stuff. Today we have got a long overdue makeup declutter. I have got this My Teresa box. It is full of products that I've worn since the last declutter. So I think this will be quite a long one. First of all, in addition to the My Teresa box, I've got this from Too Faced, the Grand Hotel Cafe. I've only actually got one of the palettes in here. The other two are in this box somewhere. Um, but I'm not going to declutter any of the palettes from this set, so I'll put that aside straight away. I feel like recently I've been having really good makeup days, so I'm not sure how much decluttering we're going to actually do here, but we're going to give it our best shot, so yeah. Straight away another couple of things I'm not decluttering, let's just get them out of the way because I can... Oh, there's another... Oh, there, there we go. So there are the other two palettes from that set. Particularly, I really like this. If, if I was ever to do a pan that palette, this would probably be up for potential. I feel like this is one I could actually pan, um, and this is the other one. So again, I feel like these are really wearable. I really like the packaging, which is part of it. It's the Christmas in New York set, so I've popped three of them in there, so we're keeping that. Another packaging thing, the Max Cinderella collection. I don't know if you guys remember when this came out. So I really like this. So this has got Vapor, Floof, Omega, Quarry, Satin Taupe and then Stroke of Midnight. So this was the only actual limited edition shade. The rest are all key shades and they're very key shades for MAC. I felt like this was just a really good palette. And then another palette that I'm going to keep is the Urban Decay Naked Ultimate Basics. Now I would say about this palette the only thing I feel is that it needs a darker brown. I feel like this is not that dark a brown and then we've got a grey and a black and I feel like it needs like a really deep sort of chocolatey brown. Other than that I think it's a good palette. I think all the shades are wearable. I'm keeping that. Another one I'm keeping is the Pat McGrath Star Wars collaboration. So obviously I got these in London last year. Um, I've not used the other palette. It's not in here, but I'm definitely keeping both these palettes, even once they are expired and whatever. I will definitely keep them from a packaging and theming point of view. Okay, here we go. Huda Rose Gold. This is the original one. I am going to declutter this palette, but... I'm going to keep a couple of shades. So what I do when I do this is that I take the palette out of my makeup inventory and I add in this, this shades that I keep to my single shadow inventory. In this instance, I'm keeping Dubai, which I love, um, Blessed, well, hashtag Blessed, which I hate the name of, but it's a beautiful shade. Um, and Suede, which I feel like I have kind of duped within my collection, but I do really like it. So I'm going to keep those three shades and declutter the overall palette. And what I do for the value is that I would take the value of this palette and then so there's 18 shades in this palette. I'll divide the value of the palette by 18 and that will be the the value of each individual shadow that I will add into my collection. There we go, partial declutter. I love that Dubai shade, it's so beautiful. I can see quite a few liquid lipsticks here, um, so let's get them together and swatch them and let them dry. There's probably more in there, but for now we've got this little collection of liquid lipsticks. Colourpop Love Bug. I know straight away I'm definitely keeping this one, I really like it. Colourpop Wild Nothing, which again I feel like I'm keeping. The next one that I'm going to put down is Tarte Birthday Soup. I've got a Kat Von D one, so this is the shade Miss Argentina, which I really like the name of. Then next to Miss Argentina, Bourjois Rouge Edition Velvet number 12. Again, in fact, you know what, I'll put that up at the top because it's a kind of browny shade. Again, I feel like I'll be definitely keeping that one, it's one of my favourites. Under Miss Argentina I'll do my Huda Beauty, this is the shade Famous, and then next to that I'll do Huda Beauty. I've got this one which is Gossip Girl with a U instead of an I and that just sounds ridiculous in my accent so forgive me I'm never gonna say it again but it's a very pretty shade. And then I've got two ABH liquid lipsticks that I'll do next so we'll do Alison, then we will do American Doll, which I know I'm definitely keeping. This is one of my absolute favourite makeup products in my entire collection. It's just such a beautiful red. I was very tempted to just keep that until Christmas time and use it then because it is the ultimate Christmas red, but obviously something came up and I used it. And last I've got Kylie Cosmetics Dolce K, which I'll do down at the bottom here. Okay, so I have them there in the order that they are 
swatched. I'm going to let that dry just so that we get a good representation of what the colours will be. Can we do something else in the meantime? Yes, I'm going to keep this, which is a little benefit uh, blush trio. So you've got Dallas, um, Dandelion and Coralista. So definitely keeping the three of them. Oh, I'll definitely be keeping this. So this is from a brand called Love the Planet. I've spoken about them before. As you can see from the back here, it's plastic free makeup. Um, so this packaging is completely recyclable. It's mineral makeup, which is good for your skin, and it's like a loose eyeshadow that I've got, and that is the shade Storm. Um, I've, I definitely took pictures of me wearing that, so I'll insert a picture so that you guys can see it. If you follow me on Instagram, you might have noticed things have been very quiet recently. Um, I do not have a phone with a working camera at the moment. I thought Apple would be releasing the new iPhone last month, but they brought out iPads and watches. The phone has been made, there have been things leaked about it, so I'm trying to hold off because I don't want to upgrade. And then they release a new phone like a week later, so that's why there's been very little going on on my Instagram at the moment. But. I've not abandoned it, I will be back once I have a phone. I'm going to keep this as Max Spring Sheen, which is a really, really pretty sort of peachy blush that I really, really like. Um, we're probably kind of going out the season for it, but it is one of my favourites. And another sort of corally blush that I really enjoy. This is from the Colourpop Midnight Masquerade. And this is the Esmeralda blush, which is in the shade Court of Miracles. I'm definitely, definitely keeping that. Beautiful packaging as well. Right, I'm definitely keeping this. So this is from Illamasqua. It's the shade Wicked. It's not a shade I use very much, but I had forgotten how much I actually liked it and I used it. And I really want to recreate that look that Lily Collins did at the Met, was it last year's Met Ball? You guys know the look that I mean. Um, it was this like super pastel lilac eye look with a really thick liner, which I really liked. And this does need built up a bit to do it, but it's the closest thing that I have that I can do that with. And I want to take the time to do it because I feel like I've been quite tempted to get that Colourpop palette, the um, pastel one. I keep thinking about it and keep thinking when my no buys over that I'd like to buy it, but I want to buy that palette to do that look with so I'm going to take the time at some point to try and recreate it with this and maybe save myself buying a full palette. These are four individual shadows, they're all ABH, Sunset, Metal, Pink Champagne and Emerald. These three I really like so that's, that's Sunset, I mean beautiful, Metal, Pink Champagne. But this Emerald shade just doesn't, doesn't have my heart. I've got other, I feel like I wanted it to be a really sort of deep green but it's a really sort of green with a black undertone and I've got other greens like that so I'm going to declutter this shade but I'm going to keep the other three. Okay so I feel like that's enough time to say that these have dried and let's consider them. Right I definitely want the top two so those are Bourjois number 12 Beau Brun and then Colourpop Love Bug. So keeping this one, keeping this one. Oh I'm obviously I'm definitely keeping my ABH American Doll 100% not even up for discussion. I feel like I said this in the last video but I feel like if I wanted this shade I would use MAC Yash although it's so tight, do you know I think so that's the Tarte Birthday suit and I might just keep that because I feel like I might be able to pan that at some point so I'll keep that. Then I love the name of this but I feel like I have other lipsticks, I have like Marc Jacobs Charlotte that I would always reach for over this. I'm not feeling like I love this one as much. Okay sorry I just decided to wait until the noise next door had stopped thumping. Um, so I can't quite remember where I was, but yeah. So I'm keeping this one, keeping this one. I'm gonna get rid of this one, which is Colourpop Wild Nothing. I feel like the Colourpop liquid lips have quite a reputation for turning, so there's really no point in holding on to it if it's just gonna turn when I'm not absolutely in love with it. I'm gonna keep this one, which is the Tarte Birthday Suit, because I think I might be able to pan it. Then I'm gonna pass on Kat Von D Miss Argentina. I do really like it, but I feel like it's very similar to my Marc Jacobs Charlotte lipstick that I love. I feel like if I was needing a pink, the Marc Jacobs one is what I would reach for. Then next up is Huda Beauty Famous, which I do like, but I feel like I own this kind of colour, so I'm going to pass that one on. I'm going to keep Gossip Girl. It's not the kind of colour I wear very often, but it's not the kind of colour I own a lot of because of that. So I feel like this is the one shade that I own that's like that, so I'm going to keep that one. Then at the bottom we have ABH Allison, ABH American Doll and Kylie Dolce K. I'm keeping American Doll because it's one of my favourites and then I'm getting rid of these two. I feel like there was just such a trend for a while for these sort of really cool toned lips that I I feel like the trend has died down and I feel like I should never have got involved in the trend in the first place because I don't massively suit cool tones. I've got red hair, I've got like 
greeny brown eyes like I'm a neutral undertone person so I can do the cool tones in terms of my skin but I feel like because my hair is warm and my eyes are warm I do overall just suit warmer tones better so yeah that's five lipsticks we're decluttering right I'm gonna keep these so these are eyeliners there's two in the set here um, and I have used both so it's from Bobbi Brown um, I have used both but I've obviously oh, there's the other one so I put I put the first one back in and didn't put the other one in so um, just two Bobbi Brown gel eyeliners I don't use gel eyeliner very often um, but I don't own very many because of that so this isn't really a problem area for me I quite like that this is like a little box that's got the brush in it I feel like it makes sense for me to just hold on to these two and these are the only two eyeliners in a pot like that that I have. Something I will definitely be keeping, my Pat McGrath lipstick in the shade Flesh 3. It's one of my favourite lipsticks even though it's done this thing. Both my Pat McGrath lipsticks have done this thing where like if I twist that like it's like the gauge is kind of gone so it doesn't twist up but the colour I adore so that's what it looks like. Something I'm definitely getting rid of is this from Rimmel. It's their scandalised eyeshadow stick in the shade 003 Bad Girl Bronze. It's a really nice shade um, and I wore that the day I went to Newcastle but it just creased so badly and it is a nice shade but it's definitely the sort of shade that I kind of own in other formulas and things. It doesn't crease as badly so there's no need for me to hold on to this pencil because of it so I'll pass that on. A pencil that I will not be passing on is this one from NARS Eagle Noir. It's the it's the greeny brown, it's the greeny blacky shade from NARS and this is kind of the shade that made me realise I should just declutter that ABH shadow because this is what I reach for when I want that sort of green with a black base in a shadow so holding on to that one. Also going to hold on to this which is the ABH Moonchild palette so this doesn't get a ton of use it is very much like fun makeup. I have this kind of palette of fun highlighters that I use for highlighters and eyeshadows. It's not like I'm sitting with like 12 purple highlighters in my collection so I don't mind holding on to one sort of nicely compact palette with sort of more fun colours for when I do want that kind of look so I'll keep hold of that. I've got this blush which I'm going to keep um, from Dior. It's the shade 866 Rose Sublime. I feel like it might have been a limited edition shade. It's just a very nice one that I use quite a lot. It kind of goes with a lot of looks. Um, another blush I'm going to keep is this one from Kat Von D. I feel like, again, I need to just say that I think it's super wasteful for me to declutter everything that I own um, just because she's a problematic person and she has now left the brand. So, so yeah, I don't support her, but I did kind of feel that just dumping everything that I had, especially when I really like a lot of the products or when I had already bought them and she already had the money, it felt just really wasteful so um yeah she's now left the brand anyway but I don't <laughs> I just feel like I need to address that every time I show a Kat Von D product that I'm keeping um so this is the Lolita it, they sell it as like a blush slash eyeshadow I believe but I use it as a blush um and it's it's quite a dark blush on me but I really really like it also going to keep this blush from NYX this is the shade Bitten Again, this is another quite dark blush. Do I really? Do I need both? Oh no, they're quite different, to be fair. I was about to say, maybe I'll just keep one, but they're very different when you actually swatch them next to each other. Another two blushes that I'm going to keep. I'm not doing well on the declutter. I did say I didn't think there was a lot of decluttering here because I feel like I've had such good makeup times recently. Um, so this Tarte blush in the shade Frisky. So I wore that recently. It's really pretty sort of super bright pink. Doesn't look that bright in my hand but it's very bright in my face. Olivia Palermo Ciate collection. So this is a blush and bronzer. Don't really touch the bronzer but I do quite like the blush so I'll keep them. Next up I've got MAC Viva Glam Cindy. I feel like I want to keep this so that I can pan it. It's not the world's most exciting shade. It's a very sort of nudie neutral pink but I feel like for the amount I've used I want the satisfaction of finishing this lipstick at some point so definitely keeping that so that I can do that with it. Some lipsticks that I'm going to pass on. These two from Longcomb. These are from the Rouge and Love collection and the formula on these is phenomenal. It's kind of glossy when you first put it on but they are so long wearing 
and they wear off so nicely. 163M there is that red shade. And then the other one that I've got is 379N, which is this really lovely sort of berry shade. The formula in these is lovely, the shades are lovely, but they're just a bit too glossy for my taste when they first go on. And I feel like that was partly why I was so impressed with formula because they're so long lasting even though they're glossy and they wear off really evenly when they do eventually wear off but particularly I've noticed because we're wearing face coverings just now they really do last under the face covering. Everything about these lipsticks is great but the colours are just okay and it's not even that they're just okay but they're colours that I just own better versions of that I would reach for over reaching for these. I feel like if the colours were a little bit more unique I would be keeping them because the formula is so good but I feel like I own these colours and I own better versions of these colours so I'm gonna pass on these two lipsticks. Another thing I think I'm gonna pass on is this which is from the brand Innisfree. Another green eyeshadow so this is the shade 38. Again I kind of want a really sort of emerald green eyeshadow but as you can see it's another green with a sort of black base. I feel like I, I don't really know what I'm looking for here. I want like a really deep green but that stays green and because I feel like as soon as I put these ones with a black base on my eyes they just kind of go sludgy. I want like a really deep green that doesn't go sludgy. That's what I, I'm really really after. That's what I bought all of these greens looking for. But yeah I feel like you look at that in the pan and it just looks green and then on my skin it just pulls grey. It's like the green and the black mixed together and it just goes a bit grey and yeah it just doesn't do what I wanted it to do so I'm gonna pass that one on. It's still a nice colour, it's still a nice eyeshadow, it's just not what I wanted it to be. Quite a few Chanel bits and pieces here actually. I don't think I'll be decluttering any of these so I've got three Chanel quads. I generally do like Chanel makeup. The quad is Kinder Et Experience which is really beautiful all matte sort of brownie tone palette with that sort of pop of warm red in there. Really, really beautiful. Definitely keeping that one. This is 278 Code Subtils, which is obviously, as you can see, much more shimmery, but again, kind of neutral, but with that green in place, which I'm definitely keeping. Lastly, I've got 254 TC Deotom, which I absolutely adore. So it's kind of satiny with the matte green and just really, really pretty shades. So I'm definitely Definitely keeping that one. Get two Chanel blushes here, which I'm definitely keeping. Um, so this is the shade 320 Rose Profonde, which is a really sort of deep red. And then this one is number 72 Rose Initial, which is a really pretty pink. And this one's quite good if you're doing a red lip because it's quite a neutral pink once it's on the face, but it still kind of brightens and lifts. So I'm keeping my two Chanel blushes and I'm also keeping my Chanel highlight. One of the limited edition pieces, I think this was Christmas 2014. It's just one of the most beautiful pieces of makeup that I own. So I'm definitely, definitely keeping that. Keeping this, so this is from Urban Decay. It's their Solstice eyeshadow. I used this really recently. It is so sparkly. It's so, so pretty. I'd used this before with a normal eyeshadow primer and it had gone all over my face, but I used it again with the Too Faced glitter glue and with the glitter glue. It was just so pretty. This was like, this sounds really vain, but it was a day that I kept looking at my eyes every time I saw myself in a mirror because they were just so, so sparkly. I'll swatch this out. It was just so lovely. So I wore that and I wore that with this from Chanel in the shade Rouge Ados. Um, I think this was a limited edition and I'm definitely keeping this. This formula works really really well under face covering. It doesn't move about, doesn't smudge, stays in place. So definitely keeping that. Formula that does move about and smudge all over the place is NARS Audacious. This is the shade Audrey. I mean I'm definitely keeping it because I really like I really like all the shades that I own in these lipsticks um, but the formula is just not great and particularly not great when we're wearing face coverings but I do want to keep it. And then another Chanel piece here is the Rouge Coco lipstick in the shade Gabrielle. 
which is a really beautiful classic red, so I'm definitely keeping that. I will also be keeping this from Chanel, which is the lip gloss in the shade 175, which is this really pretty sparkly pink. I think it's time to, to clean off again, and I'll be right back. Okay, so I have just been informed that my dinner is actually just about ready. So I think what I'm going to do is say that we'll leave that there for today. This is a very full box, so it probably was always going to be more than one video. But we've got a bit of a start. Again, as always, I've kept more than I've gotten rid of. So I have gotten rid of one palette, although I will be taking three shades out of it. Two single shadows, an eye crayon, five liquid lipsticks and two lipsticks. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven items that we got rid of. And then I am keeping one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two. 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, and then 39, 40, 41. So we're keeping 41 items here and getting rid of 11. So that's still out of, if we say roughly we had 50, we've got rid of 20%, we've got rid of a fifth. Yeah, I mean, if at the end of this year my collection is a fifth smaller through decluttering than it was at the start of this year, and then I'll obviously also use things up, I'd be okay with that. I feel like it's in the right direction. Um, I know it's not the most extreme declutter, but I feel quite good about the decisions that I've made. I feel very sure about the decisions that I've made. And yeah, we're going to leave that there for today. So thank you very much for watching part one of this monstrous declutter that will probably take about three videos to film going through that box. Um, so yeah, do do keep an eye out for more declutters if you're into them, um, because they will be coming. Thank you very much for watching this one, and I will speak to you in my next video. Bye.